Oh, ma, they can tell what it is that invalidates the whole test. Oh, ma, ma, what about this thing that I've thought of that you've already thought of, but you just didn't think it needed saying? So you didn't, but now I'm bringing it up in the comments. Ma. Oh, and also, like, I think I'd be a really good person for the testing. Like, maybe you should consider choosing me. Let's go for code seven. Nice. Code seven, here we go. That's a chord. <laughs> There's no other way. <laughs> it's even yellow. <laughs> Flying on a beach, it definitely feels happy. You could have at least taken like a, a Sharpie and painted it black, the yellow part. Also, jetzt fangen wir an. Wir haben jetzt den neuen Nexus in der Luft. <laughs> but it's a quick kite. I have quite some bar pressure. And uh, yeah, let's see if it feels like uh, the good old times. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. So kite number seven, um, I think it's a very good uh, all-round kite. It does everything well. You have a good pop, like you'll boost pretty good. The loop is pretty fast. You have a very good sense of where the kite is. Um, but I don't think it's like amazing boost or really quick. So it, it doesn't have the extremes, which might actually be perfect for what we're trying to figure out here, which is the most overall the best overall kite for the average rider, the average big air rider. Um, so this is definitely, for me, it's, it's one of the better ones because uh, it's very easy to handle. You don't have, you can always have the bar in the middle. You don't have to move to, to turn the kite. Um, and it, yeah, you loop it, it starts climbing straight away. Overall, uh, very positive. Yeah, kite number seven. I mean, the design kind of gives it away already. Uh, probably from the German boys over there. But uh, let's not take that into account. It feels very different because it has the split high up, yeah, yeah. so the, the whole handling changes. How, how does that split affect the kite? Because it's the first kite you've with the high beam. Yeah, it will rotate very fast. Okay. Uh, it feels lighter, but uh, it, it has some delay in the feedback. But yeah, it, the hang time's nice. It does require a bit more speed and input to get the height as some others but you can still get it. Um, so it is a little bit more free ride feeling than some others, but you can push it in the high end still, um, which is kind of cool. So you, the jumping and the hang time is a little bit lower than some others. The looping's nice, good catch, um, and very easy, friendly, forgiving. Forgiving, eh? Yeah, nice trait actually to have. Yeah, which is why you can all shut up about me filming Mark's chest for the whole time. Okay, do you think I meant to do that? No. So, 
leave it. So either the wind just picked up or I have a lot more bar pressure. I think it picked up. <laughs> yeah, this one's flying more up in the window, which is nice, more like a big air kite should. The previous one was quite deep in the window, more like an old sea kite sort of feel. Yeah. So I feel like this one's going to have more lift. It's actually a very interesting shape. Very curious how it's going to perform on the water. Yeah, I can feel some power. It steers quite heavy, quite some bar pressure. You can feel where it is. The shape looks a bit fat to me. Feels more like a big kite, big air kite this one, so give it a go, see how it loops. Sick. Shwai. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna forget what I think I'm gonna yeah. do it. I'm gonna do a loop is gonna be like wow! I was kicking his ass. What can I fly again? 
Should I fly something again? Yeah, the wind's picked up. Second time riding it, a little bit more wind, how did that feel? Yeah, much better. I actually really enjoyed it. It was uh, easy to jump. Uh, I felt some more lift in there now. Uh, the loops are very good, so yeah, it was... I, actually, I think the highest jump of the day we saw was like, oh, yeah. it was interesting to check the wheel. Yeah, it was, awesome. uh, was a good boost and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I definitely think this is my, uh, my choice to my choice. make it to the next round. Awesome. All right, so kite number five. Um, it was hard to tell if the kite just had that much more pressure if the wind picked up. I do think the wind picked up a little as well. The kite was pretty good for boosting. I was a bit surprised because of the shape. But like I said at the start, it's a little different shape than, than what I've been riding so far. And I think it provides that lift, but it also provides a pretty quick loop. I do feel like on the end of the loops, I was losing the sense of direction a little bit of where it was. I feel like it initiates the loop really quick but then it doesn't carry the, the motion on. You do have to keep steering it, um, which you just have to get used to. And in the beginning I thought, ah, it's not my kite, and now the more I ride it, the more I like it. Yeah, pretty excited about this one. It was pretty good. That one's definitely, I'd say, the more well balance as it comes for big air, hang time and loop. I'd, I'd say this one's on the top for me at the moment. This feels nice, okay. Yeah. Definitely the low end is good too, the low end capability. I felt like it could go a lot higher. That's quite, is that on quite five again? Oh yeah, no, that, that was my second pick. Yeah. I like that one, it jumps really high and it loops well. So it's not Ruben, it's the kite? Yeah, that one, <laughs> when you, honestly, when you jump on that one, you're like, fuck, this is a big air kite. Um, easy Pete, Stacey, can we get uh, kite two for Ruben, please? Kite two. It is as clear as day. I won't say it, but I'm excited. Oh wait, it's not. Oh, interesting. Three struts. There is three struts, right? I'm not... <laughs> Thank you.
very easy kite. It's a bit more like a free ride feeling than big air. Jumping, it jumps and hang time, but it's not as, as good as the others. Yeah. The looping's good as well. But again, yeah, it feels more playful, like more forgiving. It feels more free ridey okay. than the others. Okay. Not that it's a bad thing. All right, so when you loop the kite, you have a very good sense of where the kite is um, because the bar is all the way down. I feel like the, the, the kite doesn't have that much bar pressure. Um, and then, yeah, it took me about 10 minutes to figure the kite out because I feel like the, the sweet spot of taking off is, is pretty small. Um, it feels a bit like my rise, uh, but then just less struts, a little bit more bar pressure than mine. Um, so I think for the average big air kiter, this, uh, this kite's good, but it's gonna take some time to figure out. The three struts, you're just not that connected to the bar. So you're steering and then the kite comes later, whereas the other kites that I've ridden, it's, it feels like one thing. Oh, it's a high split. It's got a little bit of a logo in there. <laughs> what brand is that? What? They put a logo in there. Why? Huh? Number eight, that's all we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's a, it's a bit more of a lifty kite. I think you, it feels like you could have some good airs on that. Uh, but right now it's so gusty on the beach that it's hard to tell what it's gonna be like. And I think you just go out on the water and then give it a go. I do have to feel, I, I didn't feel like you really have to get used to it to... I'm glad to get injured. Was it your ankle or what? Uh, my knee. It was an impact landing. Uh, I think it's okay. Met your heart, of course. Uh, oh, your elbow now. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. It'll come right. Those are the good ones. Ah, fuck. All right. Yeah, the well, you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Of course you are. You're the champ. Oh. Love this guy. All right, so kite number eight. Uh, very good amount of boost. I like that part. Uh, pretty aggressive in the loop. Just, uh, I think, a bit on the heavy side to loop it. You really have to work the bar to get the kite round. Um, and in general, just steering the kite. Uh, double loop. Small sizes. This one? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think you can double that. Because uh, you have to crank the bar so hard already. Um, 
So I, I and I feel like the first loop would have too much pull, so I don't think you would be I don't think you'd be doubling this one. Maybe a five. Yeah. What number is that one? Talk to me. Number eight. Number eight. Yeah, eight for eight was quite hard to get connected to, I felt. It felt a bit droppy. Felt quite hard to punch it forward to get air. Like it it it, it didn't have a wide range of a happy happy spot, you know, that it was quite a small place to find that happy spot. So yeah, I mean it wasn't my top pick. Could potentially be good for beginners because it almost had no power on the steering. So very yeah, easy to maneuver, but yeah, no feedback, so it also makes it hard. Um, but yeah, very easy and very rotating. Jumping was okay, like I could get quite some lift out of it, but no real power or feedback. It was feeling very hard to, yeah, to know where to put the kite. So, yeah. Uh, They're telling me I can't retest. Yeah, they, because uh, they say there's no more time left. That's why they, they said you could, but now they say there's not enough time. Okay, all right. So they've they've all ridden them all, and uh, we're about to pick the top three. But before we do, let's see if they know which one's which. That's a Weepika Air Blast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Nord Orbit. The second one. No clue what that is. What well, we got we got to say something, I guess, right? Come on, yeah. What do you have? Code. <laughs> what? No. Oh, I hope not. There's so many free shots. It's uh, tricky. Okay, Dex. Oh, yeah, we're taking too much time. <laughs> well, that's the edge. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. It's, does it have a name even? Uh, the next one is an Arash lift. Okay. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think what do it, you think? Uh, I'm not, it's hard to know, but yeah, it could be something Arash lifty. I think this is a trigger. The F1 trigger. I have no clue, man. I've never seen that kind. Yeah, I'm think? not sure about that one. At the start, I thought maybe it's from the wingtips. I was thinking maybe it's the, the new Cabrina, the, uh, the, the new one. Nah. But then when I was up in the oh, air and yeah, I pulled the, the bar, I was like, that, yeah. that's not right. So, and then, yeah, that, the, the next one is pretty simple. It's even got the yellow tags on still. <laughs> so that's a Nexus. And then... Uh, the other one, not sure. The last one is the Harlem. Right? Why will it be riding the XR7 <coughs> or the XR8? I don't know. Why will it be? Good question. I think this is the one they see. Well, seen, I mean, right? if you if you if you're talking average big air rider level, yeah, then the XR is going more towards the the edge type yeah. of kite. Yeah. The XR sure. is not a kite that really enjoys looping either, in my yeah. opinion. This one's better all rounder. And this one is better for all round than than the XR is. Okay, so they did pretty well, really, didn't they? But um, you would be worried if they didn't do well. So really, it's not that impressive, if you think about it that way. Anyway, we'll see you in the next episode, the final episode of this series, where they're going to be picking three of the eight, and then they're going to ride them all, and then put them in order one to three. Who do you reckon is going to be on their podium? Let us know in the comments.